Hello there, this will be a tutorial on how to get a virtual keyboard on the Nokia N900 and a sort of review on it. So the first thing we need to do is go into menu, settings, we don't need to download anything for this, I've only just come across it so I thought, you know, I'd do this for my next video. And we just click text import, we get a wide array of options, all we want to do is check use virtual keyboard, click save, and we are done. Obviously, virtual keyboard means screenboard. I mean, key, keyboard on screen. I'll just show you what it looks like. If we go into conversations and new SMS, and we just tap on the screen, and we get the virtual keyboard. Um, on first blush, you can see that the keys are pretty big. The space bar is very big. It's about five normal keys long. So if you are typing for over here, you'll be able to tap the space bar pretty easily. So I think the space bar is a plus and the keys are pretty big and my fingers, or well my thumbs anyway, can type very quickly. Uh, one bad thing, obviously, there is no multi-touch. And uh, that obviously might be a considering factor in you using this or not, but it's an it is understandable as this is a resistive screen. Uh, a good thing about this, if we just type out something random, is the fact you can copy, cut and paste very easily. If you just um, sorry, drag your finger across or we can just select certain bits of the word. It follows your finger really well. If I just want to highlight this bit right there, I can get it. There's the menu for the cut, copy and paste. So that is a very good thing. It's a feature I like. It's very simple. One thing which you're probably guessing by how it looks is the fact that it covers more or less the whole screen. If I zoom in for you you can just about make out the um, status bar at the top, so obviously if you're in the middle of a conversation this will get in the way and you will not be able to see if they've sent you something while you're typing your message out, so once you get off you'll obviously see and you think, oh bugger, I'll have to write my message or whatever again. You can use the virtual keyboard literally anywhere you can type it in the who you're sending the message to or um, if I uh, go into the web browser show you what it looks like there open up YouTube <coughs> and there we go it's not fully loaded but I don't think we need it to be and if you just click on the search bar as you can see wait, as you can see the virtual keyboard pops up and this is where I get to you with the, another problem I find with it is the fact that I don't like the layout of the symbols. Obviously, this is just a personal thing, but I preferably don't like it compared to what it is on the hardware keyboard, which I'm also used to. But um, all in all, it is a useful feature to have the virtual keyboard. I don't use it at all. I've just found out that it existed. So I thought I'd just do a quick video on it and a sort of semi-review. So uh, if you have any requests on anything to do with the Nokia N900, just let me know in the comments box and I'll be sure to get around to it one day. And this has been a review and a tutorial on how to get a virtual keyboard on the Nokia N900. Ensure that you rate, comment and subscribe.